Okay, so I'm just going to take a minute to talk about canopies before we go on to look at fire baskets, thermal um, vents, dog irons, etc. Um, so canopies come in three different fundamental designs uh, as far as we're concerned, the, the ones that we make. Firstly, you get what we would call a single skin canopy, which is your sort of classic canopy design. Four sides, front side, back, connected into your chimney system or attached to a liner, and its job is to look great and take away the smoke. There you go. The second style that we have, which is a unique design uh, by myself, um, is a twin skin canopy. So this is a miniaturized uh, show version that we've got here. And you'll see the difference here is, you've got two skins, an inner and an outer. And the inner's job is to take away the smoke. It's purely functional. The outer part of the canopy, its job is to look fantastic and be the right shape and size for the fireplace that you've asked us to create it for. And that is the key difference. With a twin skin, performance is separated from aesthetic. I'll put that over there for a minute. The third design canopy that we can create is related to a thermo vent. So we've got one here. So a bit similar to the outer canopy on a, on a twin skin, this canopy is purely cosmetic. It's not doing anything to do with the performance of the fire. That's all handled by the thermo vent fire itself. Okay, so those are the three key design distinctions in the canopies that we create. A lot of the canopies that we make for our customers are in steel, as you can see here, hand scored, um, coated more often than not, and then um, with a, with a graphite um, grate polish top coat. We also do quite a lot of uh, copper canopies, hand beaten in this case, there's that image there. Um, also we do them plain, um, unbeaten. And we also make canopies in brass. Now all of our brass and copper canopies are um, formed by having a steel buck. So we make the shape in steel as a full canopy and then we skin it in solid copper or brass sheet. That's how we make our, we make our canopies. Um, in terms of style, um, this one here, it's got no waste on it. That's a cottage style canopy. That one there, you can see it's got a waste on it. That's an Inglenook style. We also do Regency. You'll see more information like that on, our, on the dedicated page on the website about the different styles that we make them. A lot of the time we have a hand rolled seam on our canopies, but we do do other finishes as well. But more information on the, uh, uh, on the other element pages of the, of the website. So what we have here is a three bar bow front fire basket with dog irons, but you'll notice that the dog irons are actually part of the fire basket itself. So we would call that an integrated uh, dog iron fire basket arrangement. This again is a three bar bow front fire basket, but there are no dog irons. What we've done is added some design detail to the front uprights in the form in this case of uh, ball tops to make uh, a feature out of them. The forged arrow top uprights on this fire basket along with spear top front uprights as features distinguish it from the three bar horizontal we just saw. This is an example of a very large fire grate as opposed to a fire basket with uh, dragon's teeth in this case and you can see that there is no um, actual capacity to the fire grate it's somewhere you lay the logs on. Okay let's talk dog irons for a, for a short while shall we? So a dog iron's role is to support the fire basket or fire grate in the fireplace um, to get it off the hearth, um, but also to allow the introduction of additional di design elements to the fireplace. And it also creates the opportunity to make the fire look wider if that's appropriate for the overall um, situation in the fireplace. So we've got a, a pair here. Um, so you've got your back arm with the third leg and then you have the upright with the design elements on it. This particular one is a good example of us creating these to a brief from a client where we've used the latest technology in terms of cutting material and then we've applied that uh, along with our forge work and, uh, and detailing um, and hot iron work to create this um, three different detailed florets as a pair of, of dog irons. We do them in all different shapes and sizes um, uh, they also dog irons are also a feature on a therm event. You just don't have the back leg on them, but we do do dog irons as standalone items, not just as part of therm events.